Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So, because I was uh, pretty busy with some office stuff yesterday, so I couldn't do uh, an episode. So anyway, I'm doing it now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that, you know, we were working with our dodging mechanism and still i think this is pretty buggy and i don't i am not satisfied with this so i am going to change this a little bit so actually here what happens is when i dodge as i have explained earlier first this character turn back turn back and do the rolling so and this uh, turning back process interferes uh, with our look at character node when we are on locked on mode and if I got hit like this if I got hit in the way so this dojin doesn't work as we expected so yeah it's pretty buggy so what I'm planning to do is here this is the way it works now this character moves uh, roll forward and if you just check this one instead of uh, playing this animation forward what if if I play this backward like this so actually if I have some ro backward rolling animation it would be great but uh, unfortunately I can't create animation so therefore I'm going to use the same one and play backward like this so if I do that I do not have to rotate my character into the opposite direction before doing the rolling so to do that now this is playing forward so make it play backward I have to make this play rate minus one here like this and if I play it now it will play like this so that's not enough I also need this guy to move backward instead of this attack move is uh, an event that makes the character moves forward so I need it to move backward and where do we save these events I think they should be under yeah right here so instead of attack move I'll rename this to move forward wait I don't think I can change it because they are not changed Mm. well I'll actually the reason I wanted to rename this was uh, so instead of attack move if I would like move forward it would make uh, more sense but uh, just renaming this one does not remove rename these notifiers so therefore I'm gonna have to add notifiers all over again in all the animations so therefore I'll keep it like this as attack move and I'll open back my stand in dive montage so this is my this is the current dodge montage I am using so I'll duplicate that one and instead of dive forward I'll make it backward uh, 
Okay. Should make this minus one again, and yeah, as <clears throat> instead of keeping this as move forward, I'll add a new notifier. Like this, I'll delete this one, and I'll add a notify, a new notify called. Uh, Move back. I'll delete this one as well. Add notify. Move back. This one. Move back. And this one also. Move back. Right. Uh, then I have to. Where have I implemented? move forward or oh, attack move i think it should be under let's search it attack move well i think uh, i should put this under notifiers graph right here Okay, and now I need move back. Back. Uh, I think I should compile in order to get that new one. Move back. Uh, why am I not getting that? Oh shit. The problem is uh, I have uh, done a small mistake. This should be not move back. It should be move back. Okay, and I had to add them. Add it again. No problem. I'll add back. Move back. Move back. Move back, right? So it. Okay, now try. Move. Anim. Naughty. Five. Why am I getting that as more war back still? This is still more back. It should be move back. Well, I'll delete them all completely and delete this one also and save everything then I'll add it, uh, add it as a new notify called move back now let's see M notify right now i get it move back we need this in a couple of places back move back move back move back right so i have defined this magnitude here so that means if i put this as a minus value this character should be able to move back. Let's uh, check if that correct quickly. 
Let's move back. Okay, here, right. So, yeah, we can do it like that. So, I'll duplicate this one like this with Control W and connect this one here. And I'll add minus 800. And also, we should get rid of that. So, everything in this blueprint animation is done. So now I have to do some changes in my character blueprint under jump part. Let's jump dodge right here. Okay. And here, uh, well, I don't this I don't need this part anymore. So I'll skip that part like this and instead of uh, instead of standing dive forward I'll put standing dive backward montage like this and under lock on part here I don't need to check this dodging thing so I can just put it like this actually we have done quite unnecessary work okay and do we need this part well I'm not sure okay now let's check what happened Okay, right. So this character without changing the direction he is facing, now he is dodging backward like this. And so we have, we don't have any problem even if I am. So I, and why am I not look into this guy? Right, now I am looked into him. Okay. Right, so I think this is much cleaner than what we had. Yeah, I think we can work with this. Alright. So, yeah, that would be all for today. And... And I'm sorry for taking three episodes to make this effect perfect and but hey that's game development we are continuously solving problems and we will surely face more problems as we move forward and let's solve everything all right and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons you guys are the best. Thank you very much for your support. And also, if you want to support my channel, I'll put the link in the description. You can go to patreon.com and Tilna Prima Siri. Also, you can download the project files and other stuff as well there. Alright, see you in the next video. Goodbye.